Hello, hello, Facebook lovelies and YouTube lovelies. So excited that I have finally gotten my um, Facebook Live videos uploaded to YouTube so you can uh, much more easily find them. You don't have to do all the scrolling. Um, and they are almost all there. There's about 26 videos uploaded there. A um, couple more coming and this one will be uploaded soon. So um, super excited about that announcement. I would love for you um, to bless me by asking people um, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, it's a much bigger format than Facebook and so since I've pretty probably kind of tapped you guys out and I have um, most of the customers um, from my kind of personal network um, the next step would be for me to start kind of reaching out and, and meeting some new people so um, YouTube is a great format for that so I'm very excited about that um, I realize it's kind of daytime and there may not be a whole lot of you um, available right now because of those silly jobs and whatnot but you can watch the replay and have some exciting things to show you. I'm gonna do a shadow expo. I have no eye makeup on. I did do a little bit of foundation, bronzer, blush, concealer, setting powder. Um, today's foundation is, as always, a mix of Ivory and Shinto too. And I used my big fat brush to apply that. And you can see this is a little bit, um, lighter coverage you can still see my skin kind of underneath it it's just evened out a little bit more so um you know we again just in case we have this one for the lightest amount of coverage to apply foundation this one would be the second level of coverage so just a little bit heavier and this is really good for textured skin if you've got deep pores um, or breakouts this is going to really work that foundation in around all of the textured areas and then we have the sponge which is more of your heavy hitter that's going to be for a full face of foundation i love them all um, it just depends on what i'm doing so hey heather um did I hear you're moving back to Texas? So exciting. Um, so anyway, I am gonna start off my shadow expo with what to do when this happens. Can y'all see? Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I'm gonna end up dumping it out. Let me see if I can get a better angle on this. When your shadow breaks. So here's the deal with our shadows. Our shadows are incredibly pigmented. And I know what you're thinking, some of you. Oh, well, Max, eyeshadows are incredibly, nope, not even close. Like, literally not even close. I wish that I had Max Carbon um, Black right now because I used it for years. Um, I do, however, have Ben Nye. I have Ben Nye, no, I don't have the black, the black broke, but I have a bunch of other Ben Nye colors. Not even close to being as pigmented. But what happens when you get this kind of pigmentation is that it's a very soft, almost creamy powder. And so there's the potential that they're gonna break, um, which is one of the reasons that I highly recommend that you do your makeup at a, yes, Victoria, I'm getting there. God, you totally stole my thunder. Shush, shush, girl. Uh, Victoria is the one who has been uploading my videos for me because I, um, almost slipped my wrist trying to do it. So can't, I, I just can't. Um, and I have no computer and I have no Wi-Fi, and I live out in the middle of nowhere. So <sighs> thank goodness for good phone cell uh, coverage. Anyway, um, sometimes these eyeshadows are gonna break and sometimes they're gonna arrive to you broken and that sucks, but it is what it is. Um, when you're getting a product that is this high end, um, it's just going to have a couple of drawbacks, but you can fix it. So if you order some eyeshadows from me and any of them should arrive broken, immediately take a picture, contact customer service at 844-BE-AMAZING. Um, have your order number there and just let them know and they'll send you another one. And you don't have to send this one back and you can still use this one. Just remove it from your other eyeshadows so that it's not um, messing anything up. 
So here is what, <laughs> hi Dixie, hi Haley. Here's what we're gonna do. This is, um, it's busted in several places. One corner's completely smashed. Another corner looks salvageable. Don't, don't try to salvage anything, okay? You're gonna take a, the end, I'm gonna use the end of a brush here. The end of my brush and a little bit of rubbing alcohol and we're gonna smash it up even more until it's kind of just a fine loose powder and then we're gonna add a little bit of alcohol and when it dries it's gonna be totally fine and usable um, if you I, I happen to have these little vials if you don't have one of these you could use a straw and just kind of put it in the bottle and then put your finger on it like you used to do you know with your margarita at the Mexican restaurant when you would feed it to your baby because they were crying and you were trying to enjoy yourself and have a fiesta, but they didn't have their siesta, and so you needed to, but y'all y'all didn't, you didn't ever do that, no. I, did, I didn't either. Okay, I'm um, gonna smash. So it's still in the pan, and it's very easy to smash. It doesn't take much. And I'm gonna move it around, try to even it out a little bit. Ooh, I gotta see, I can't quite see when I hold it up to the mirror. Okay, so it's, it's pretty smashed up. I'm gonna wipe that off so I don't end up getting this black everywhere. And then I'm gonna add the tiniest amount of rubbing alcohol and let that kind of soak in and just you don't even have to mess with it too much just get it all wet and if you overdo the alcohol it'll evaporate so no big deal and then I'm gonna take the brush end of this and just sort of smooth it out a little bit because now it's kind of a paste and yeah this takes some time but if you have a really good vanity set up you should absolutely be able to sit down and do this at your makeup table where all of your makeup magic happens all right so kind of smoothed out it's not perfect it's never going to be perfect again get over it still works the same and then just sit and let that dry hi charlotte how your babies? Are they taking a nap? Is it nap time right now? Um, okay, so now I need to clean this off. I'm gonna use a wipe to clean that off instead of just a dry towel because it's pretty messy. All right, so Shadow Expo, phase one complete. Ooh, that's messy. Okay, all right, we did that. I'm gonna let that dry and then I can pop it back into um, my palette without it getting all over everything else so here we go one of the things I want to show you is the quality of the shadows I know you think that maybe some of the shadows you're using are very high quality maybe they're Trish McAvoy maybe they're Bobbi Brown or something you paid you know $22 per shadow for um, they're not as good as these they're not as pigmented these these shadows have these are professional this is not something that lay people can buy because messes like this happen sometimes and you got to know what to do with them um, and they're super heavy hitters so first of all our shadows are $12 they're about twice the size of most um, higher end shadows and because you need so little of them they're gonna last you twice as long so they're basically a fourth of the price because they're going to last you so much longer um, so one of my favorite brushes I know you guys know this is number 11 and this is just a tight get in there and show you it's not a sponge tip sometimes you see brushes that are shaped like this and this is actually a little sponge that's not what this is this is just a tight um, collection of tapered and so it's great for smudging underneath and it's great for packing it on 
So one of the things that um, happened to me while I let a friend borrow my makeup while she was waiting for her kit to come in um, is that I realized <clears throat> in going back and using my old shadows like how awful um, they are and how long my, it took to do my makeup to get the result that I was looking for. So hi Caitlin, um, it's it's a really um, interesting concept. Remember when you had that boyfriend like that you thought was like the greatest thing since sliced bread and you thought there and then y'all broke up and you thought you would never get over it because you know you couldn't imagine there could be anything better out there and now you're married to your husband and you think oh my gosh like you know realize realize there are going to be a lot more times in your life where you just don't know what you don't know and you need to trust me and do what I tell you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, really, you should when it comes to makeup because um, I'm an expert. But um, this is something that I've been learning too. I, it, it took me a year to get on board with this company because I thought that I knew everything there was to know about makeup. And that there was nothing out there that was going to be better than what I had used in the past. So that's just a process we are always going to be learning so keep an open mind and please remember that we have a 30-day money-back guarantee if any of these if you're just like you know what uh, i just don't even want to take the time to learn how to you don't even need an excuse just say you know what it's not working out i want my money back no problem no questions asked and no weird guilt like oh you're stealing food off my kids table you know because you return something not gonna happen um okay number 11 shadow brush shadows I am gonna start I kind of have these aligned in sort of a path and I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna put them all on my face this is not going to be a glamorous look but I want you to see what one stroke with a good makeup brush this makes a huge 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 difference if you don't know or understand why one makeup brush is better than another or why ours are more expensive than others please ask I will be happy to share that with you um, okay, this is called Crystal, and it is part of our Lottie collection, and this is the one that I use here. Look at that, one touch. And what I did here, it's very difficult to show this online, was, uh, here it is, this, okay? I touched it twice with very, very little pressure. I have on zero concealer on my eyes, and I have no eyeshadow primer starting to realize maybe limelight doesn't have an eyeshadow primer because we don't really need one maybe um, okay so I'm gonna do the same over here and these second motions that I'm doing are just spreading it out okay but that's how much I could use this thing potentially for five years before I would run out of it if I wasn't constantly using it on hundreds of other people um, so Unbelievable. All right, the next shadow is kind of a bone colored one. It has a tiny bit of shimmer to it. And I'm gonna post the uh, name of all of these shadows later in the order that I'm using them. So this is shadow number two for um, the expo purposes. Okay, not quite as shiny as the first one, but you could see immediately when I put it on my skin with just same thing, tap, tap, light pressure, sweeping just very gently across about a one fourth space of that shadow. And put some over here. You're getting really big punch. All right. Did I mention they're $12? Okay, so you can see this is just much softer. This one is like pow, pow, bright light in your face. This one's just a little bit softer. Lots of reasons why you would want both. All right, now I'm gonna wipe off my brush and I'm gonna go to the third shadow, which is kind of a gold shimmer. I'll let you see what it looks like on the brush. That's just the same tap, tap. And we're gonna come in here. We're just gonna work our way across with these lighter shades. All right, one little smudge smudge and it looks like my eye has been gilded. Amazing. 
tap tap that's what's on the brush alrighty there we go gilded eyes okay if your eyeshadows don't do this maybe it's time to upgrade just try one try one you pick the one that you get the most often or the color that you use the most often if you are always reaching for a brown pencil eyeliner for the love of Pete please stop that and spend $14 on one of our brushes and $12 on one of these and completely change your life um, this stuff does not go anywhere it stays put it blends beautifully um, so that you can make it do what you need it to do and it makes your makeup go on like literally three times faster because you're not layering and layering and layering okay moving on to number four pineapple of my eye I happen to know this one um, this is it, it looks yellow it just looks like a yellow eyeshadow there it is like a light yellow and I'm gonna go back over this I'm gonna have to get creative here about getting all 18 eyeshadows on my face so bear with me this doesn't have any real rhyme or reason maybe it'll turn out looking great I don't really know that's not my point my point is to show you all of the colors and get them all on my face okay here you go dab dab and I'm gonna go over that second color that we did that kind of pale bone color with a little bit of shimmer in it there we go now clearly we have a yellowish tint. I'm gonna just try to make this one sort of match that one. I got a little bit more coverage there. There we go. So now we have that more yellow shade. I'm gonna clean off my brush on a dry towel and now I'm moving to my very favorite eyeshadow color and the one that I would highly recommend that you all try because it's so incredibly versatile. This is number 40, taupe for the best. It's the color that I used on my brows. Um, I did not do my 12 step brows today. This is like one step brows, so they're not the best brows ever But they're better than the ones that I got when I woke up All right, so taupe for the best. This is a cool colored um, soft brown and We'll just put this we'll put this on the outside. Oh, you know what actually what I do with this one here, let me change brushes. I use this one in the crease a lot. So I'm gonna use my angled shadow brush. You have a shadow brush that looks just like this? Yeah? Your sucks. I'm just saying. It probably sucks. I don't really know, but it probably does. Do this to it. See how dense the hairs are? see how tightly bound they are there's a little, there's so many reasons so many reasons okay I'm gonna dab one time just one little pop just touching it and I'm gonna turn it this way and we're gonna make a crease color Now I'm gonna clean off my brush because literally so much pigment that I need to soften this and it was even just that one touch was a little much. So I'm just gonna keep going back over it. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Touch. There it is. Eyeshadow Expo. That's what this is. Welcome, welcome. Eyeshadows, all of them, all 18 eyeshadows are going on my face today. I don't, even, I don't even know what's gonna happen. All right, so crease color number 40. I've also used this color to um, contour my nose. I use it on my brows. Sometimes I use it to line my eyes. I actually do like a smoky eye with this really soft brown color. It's incredible. I'm actually home without kids to catch it. Oh, yay, Alicia. Hey, Carissa, I think I see you all the time. Do you live in the Pipe Creek, Bernie area? I, I swear I think I see you all the time. Okay, there we go. 
that was one, two, three, four, five. Number five, which is called Taupe for the Best. It's just the number, the fifth one that I'm showing you. Um, and its number on our site is number 40. It's the number 40 eyeshadow. Okay, the next one is a gorgeous copper color. This is number 19, but it's going to be the sixth shadow that I'm showing you today. Sorry, that's getting a little confusing, I think. And I think what I'm gonna do with this is just kind of go over the gold. So they should blend pretty well. I'm, hey daddy, I'm on live, so yeah. What is it? Oh, sweet, thank you. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm gonna use number 19, touch, touch. Actually, this one, you know, I found myself, I just touched it three times, and I think, oh, you like my nails, Alicia? Yeah, you know what these are? They're from Walmart. They're the Impress nails, those press-on nails. People were going ape crap over them. Try, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to stop with the bad words. Um, people are going nuts over them. Um, and I heard that they last like two weeks. And I'm like, how could a press on nail? What? I mean, that, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, in my mind, I'm like, nope, I already know everything there is to know about press on nails. They don't work. I'm not even open minded to that. It's ridiculous. But then when people I trust start raving about them, I'm like, okay. Maybe I was wrong. I, I don't know. So I put these on three days ago. Three days. I mean, I haven't proven anything yet. Except that for the last two days, I have been doing insane yard work. Charlotte, are you on here? You're the reason. Not Charlotte Broach. Charlotte Dellinger is the reason. She made me help her with her yard work. She made me. I'm, I offered. Um, I mean, we were pulling cactus, we were bagging leaves, I was, we were raking, we were scraping, and they have not budged. Hers, however, she gets them done at the salon, she lost one. I'm just saying, they're amazing. Um, there are a couple of rules. If you're interested, I'll tell you what I think um, that you need to know about these to get them to last. Okay, number 19 shadow is a pretty shimmery um, shadow, and I did find myself going one, two, three into the product instead of two. Um, and I think that I typically do that with the ones that have a higher sheen to them, um, but you'll figure that out on your own. So we're just gonna lay this one over that gold. I'm gonna get really close so you can see. And I'm gonna scrub just a little bit harder on that one. There we go. Copper penny that's what this looks like it's a copper penny you can see a huge difference um, if I let me see if I can put this on my hand there you go you can see that would be a light layer of it layers layers and then you can add another on top and you can do the packing. This is not a packing brush. Maybe I should be using a packing brush. That's why you need these different brushes. So that took me two passes to get that depth of color. Let's see what happens with the number 11 brush using the correct brush. The reason I used this brush in the crease is because I'm trying to create a really soft shadow. I want a version of that color. I don't want a hard mimic of that color. So now I wanna see that copper penny color and it took me a couple of passes with this one, so I'm gonna go back and I already said that, I'm repeating myself. There we go, this is packing, where you're putting it in a tight location in a specific area and there is no blending happening right now. Much, much different. I'm gonna just add a little bit more. Not all colors are created equally, and I feel like the more shimmer they have to them and the darker they are, um, the more of the product that you need. There's probably exceptions to that rule, but... Okay, so there we go. That's my whole top row on my set of 18 eyeshadows. I'm gonna wipe off my brush, and I'm gonna go back to this brush for the next color, which I call the camel color, like in my head when I'm going, I'm going, where's that camel color? Um, I'm sure it has a different name and I will post all of the names of the shadows in the order that I have shown them uh, when we get done in the comments. 
Um, but for right now, this is going to be the seventh shadow that I am demonstrating. So tap, tap. That's probably a little much. And we're gonna go over the number 40 color that we did with this one. You can see this one's a little bit darker. It is a matte color. And it has a tiny bit more yellow gold undertone to it than that number 40. All right, now we got some, we got some depth going on here. That number 40 was a very, very delicate crease color. I've also used it as a liner. And now we've got this one that I kind of laid on um, a little bit thicker. It's, it's similar, it's just, a, like I said, a little bit more yellow. And I think as I'm looking at these, what I'm gonna have to do in order to correctly show you the rest of them is take off what I have on and move forward. And then I'm probably gonna take, eh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll just play it by ear. All right, so the first seven colors are coming off. Hi, Liz. Hey, Mandy. Mandy, do you have our brush set? I can't remember. I know you had some good brushes, but I can't remember whether you broke down and bought the brush set or not. I would love for you to tell people what you think. And if you've seen it make a big difference. And if you haven't, that's okay too. Be, be totally honest. But if you haven't, we should talk. Um, <clears throat> also, one other thing I would love for you all to know is that if you buy the brush set from me, it's $224. But if you were to buy all of 15 brushes individually, um, you'd pay $94 more than you would when you buy them as a set. Um, so there's definitely a huge savings there. Um, and I think the biggest hesitation for a lot of people is I don't need 15 brushes. You're right, you don't need them, but you're going to want them when you realize how quickly things happen once you learn how to use them. So when you buy our brush set, I will walk you through how and what to use them for. Now, I'm gonna walk you through that in either a FaceTime video or in person, whatever works for our location. Um, but then it will be up to you to sit down and sort of make yourself practice using each brush so that you kind of know what you're looking for. So there's definitely an investment of money and there's an investment of time required to take your makeup game to the next level um, or just you know, and I don't mean take it to the next level, like start wearing more. I mean, just do it better. So where people are starting to notice and they're like, why do you look so good? Um, okay, so I kind of let my eyeballs dry a little bit. They're dry. And now I'm gonna go back in with number 11. And this is um, the color that I'm gonna use next is the eighth shadow that I am demonstrating. Um, but it is in our catalog, um, number 37. All right, so tap, tap, I pulled it across. It's kind of a terracotta peachy pink, but is a matte, there's no shimmer. I would call this a flesh color. So you see all the discoloration in my eyelid right here. It's kind of some brown, there's some blood vessels, there's some purple, I mean, there's a lot of anatomy going on under this very thin skin. So this is a great way to get a super, super natural, nothing on your face look that sort of cleans that up. There you go. And I just did the whole lid now I probably shot myself in the foot because I've got to use the rest of these colors or I'm gonna to have to take it all off again. But that's okay, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. This is one of my favorites for sure. And I'm packing it on and you go, and when you're gonna do this whole lid color, please don't start right here. 
start at the tear duct and go all the way past the last lash. That's a rule that really, uh, I mean, I, I have a hard time thinking of any in time when that should be broken. Now, maybe you're using three different colors across, but everything should go from one side to the other. When you focus on the easy part, which is this apex of the curve right here, that's just the easiest part for you to work with. This takes a little bit of effort. I mean, you gotta move around your face, you gotta lift up your arm, you gotta do some, you know, digging to get in there. So our our nature is to just, you know, slap it on the easiest place. Well, you're cutting yourself like almost a half inch of eye short. Your eyes will lengthen out considerably when you start doing makeup from the inside all the way to the outside of the eyes. Same with mascara, same with when you're doing eyeliner. Um, and also the same with your eyebrows. They are the boobs of the face. You gotta, you wanna give them all they got. Okay, wiping off the brush on a dry towel and I'm moving on to, um, this is more of a red um, copper. The other one um, was more of a brown copper penny. This one is more like, um, really I have no idea. It's part of our Lottie collection. I really like this color. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just put it, it has some shimmer to it. I'm gonna put it right over the middle so you can compare and see the difference between that soft pinky color that I just used. There you go, you see that? Rust, that's what color it is, it's rust. Hi Rachel, hi Lindsay, how are you watching? Oh Lindsay, are you still in Napa? Spoiled baby. I want to be there. Okay, so we're gonna pack this on. This is part of the Lottie Dream On collection. We still have this. This is a $76 um, eyeshadow collection, but y'all, it is so good. It has this color, it has that crystal color, um, it has the gold, the third gold that we used. Um, it's got a beautiful, I think it's that camel brown um, that's part of it also. Um, and then that number two that, um, no, 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 that's part of a different collection. Anyway, I'll stop there. But anyway, and, and it's got a silver that's amazing. Um, so you can see the big pow, pow. The other one was super soft. This one is way more in your face, rust color with just a little bit of shimmer to it. Okay, next one is a brown. I have no idea the difference between all of the browns we have, except I can tell you just by looking at it that this one is more of a cool brown, but it's darker than the number 41. Are y'all keeping up with this? Am I just confusing the crap out of you and maybe I should just shut up and start putting makeup on? All right, I'm gonna use this one in the corner. This is probably number eight. I'm gonna take a while to guess. But again, I'll post these later. So I'm gonna draw kind of my sketch out my area. I'm gonna just kind of make a dark triangle out here. Beautiful brown. And I did all of that over the top of other um almost said medicine eyeshadows with um just two little touches. Touch, touch. That's what kind of pigment you're dealing with. So when you get these home. If you take your brush and you scrub into it and then you put it on your face, you're going to have a cloud of makeup poop all over your face. You gotta be very, very, very careful. I'm kinda trying to stretch this over, stretch my eye out over a little bit. You never wanna judge your makeup like this because you don't walk around like this. You always wanna judge the evenness from a pulled back version, you wanna pull back, and then you just wanna look into your own eyes. Don't look for mistakes, you'll always find them. This is makeup, it's not perfection. So, just look to see if something grabbing my attention is something clearly off, if not, move on. Just move on. Um, okay, so that was six, seven, eight, nine, that's the tenth color that I showed you. The next one is a little bit more of a, it's even, it's an even cooler brown, and it is a flat brown, and let's put this one down here. Um, this is going to be way too much. <sighs> All right, so, all 
the way to this little weird tear duct area right here. If you're skipping this area when you're doing your makeup, you are cutting yourself short. All right, there's one. I'm gonna dry it off so I know exactly how much product is on the brush. Tap, tap. <sighs> this brush is gonna do a great job of laying color onto the uh, inner membrane as well as smudging it down below the lashes. So what I used to do was take a really thin brush like this one and I would do the inside and then I would do on top of the lashes and then I would go under. Oh my gosh, totally wasting time. That was another moment where I thought this is the only way to get a good smudgy under eye look. And then I saw somebody that I trusted use this and I was like, perhaps I was wrong. I am learning. I am growing. Okay. Have I made my point? All right. That was seven, eight, nine, ten. That was the eleventh color. Now I'm moving on to number twelve. Another brown. <laughs> we have some real good browns. We have one, two, three, four, four dark browns, or medium to dark, and then that camel color. I kind of think of that in a different. Um... Oh, Jasper. Oh, Jasper. Oh, I love Jasper. Don't I love Jasper or is that the new one? Okay, so um, the next brown we're gonna use because I've exhausted all of my uh, need for brown everywhere else, I'm gonna use in the crease. This is probably way too dark for a crease color, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna have some fun. So I'm going to tap very lightly, pounce, and when I say tap, I'm resting my hand on the desk and I'm so that I can control the amount of pressure that I put on the brush into the powder. Does that make sense? If I just dab it like this, I have very little control with a floating moving arm. So I want to make sure that I'm not going to be making huge mistakes all over my face or getting makeup that I'm going to have to clean up. So I'm, I'm holding, I'm bracing my hand and I'm very carefully touching the product. Those little things can make such a huge difference. Um, when I'm helping coach somebody through and they're like, I just am not getting this product, I just don't know how to use it, or it's just not looking like when you do it, um, there's usually, it's usually their body mechanics that have to change in order to get the right result. Um, okay, here we go. I'm gonna start on the outside because that's where we would want it to be the darkest. And this is a very dark color to be using on the crease, but just having some fun. I mean, and I want you to see the color and I mostly want you to see the quality of the pigment. All right, so let's take this a step further. I'm gonna clean off the brush and now I'm just gonna start blending this with the same brush and this is what blending is, okay? It's just going back over what you already did on the outer edge of it Okay, you don't want to go over everything you did because you don't want to remove everything. You just want to soften the edge. There. Maybe a little too far right there. Okay, so clean brush. I'm going to go back. I'm bracing my hand very carefully, touching the product. I'm even going to blow on it a little bit. Let's start on the outside here and start pushing it into the crease. This is... You see what's happening to my eye there? This is literally the anatomy, oh, oh that's weird, um, of where my brow bone ends and my eyeball starts receding back into my eye, okay? Don't look for the proper placement of where to put your brush. Let your anatomy tell you where your crease is. Just find that, that place where you feel like you could trace your eyeball into the back of your brain and make that where you do your um, crease color. I'm often telling people don't use your anatomy, create a new anatomy with a lot of other steps in makeup, but the crease color is not usually one of those that you wanna mess with. You wanna use your natural crease. If you don't have one, Asian eyes often don't have a crease. They, they can be a little bit puffier. 
Um, and so then we would create one, but we would create it in the place where their eyes would go back in their head. Okay. All right. We've now exhausted all the browns. You happy? Brown does not excite me. It just doesn't. I know they're great. They're awesome. They're super useful. Just not exciting. All right. Now this one is exciting. This is number 41 and I have a brush that I use specifically for this color because it's pale and beautiful and lovely and I don't want it muddied up with all of the other punks. Okay. So I use this fluffy brush. This is one of the reasons why you need 15 brushes. And I keep them, by the way, in this thing. I don't have one of those roll out, all of the time and the space that that takes to roll out your um, brushes, I think honestly is just quite silly. Um, I also do not strap them around my waist because I've never done it and it would be weird. All right, so number 41. This is a shell pink color. It's called Pastel Me About It. I'm gonna put it on my lid and then I'm gonna go back for a little bit more and I'm gonna drop it down to the tear duct and this is gonna soften any mistakes that you might have made in that inside corner because it is difficult to get. This is gonna help blend those out. And so we're going all the way from here to here. And you can keep adding this and adding this and adding this until it is stark pinky white whatever color it is or you can just brush on one layer but have some fun and find out what it can do because I'm telling you it's magic now you see the naturalness of it because it's not hugely different from this one over here where I have nothing but if we look closely I have discoloration and some little sun damage here I've got it's pretty pale right here but then there's more color out here and this just makes it look clean but there's not a huge difference between the pretty color that I naturally have right here and the pretty color that I've created everywhere right here all right a little bit more this one takes a tiny bit, um, it's a wiggle. So I'm putting the brush in and then I just um, almost vibrate it just a little bit. And try to keep it out of your eyebrows. I usually do my eyebrows last because powders like this can stick to them and make them look kind of ashy. And I'm gonna go all the way down. Hi Stacy. All right, there we go. Clean, clean brow bone. Hi, Trinka. Hi, Taryn. Yay, Taryn. Um, all right, so next I have a trio of gray silver colors. Uh, no, yeah, this is definitely ruddy red browns. So we're gonna take this off and then we're gonna play with silver. I'm gonna leave the bone color on my brow bone, the pink color. Um, ah, what the heck, I'm just gonna do a clean removal. Now my eyes are probably gonna start to get a little bit angry, but we'll see. And one thing we haven't really talked about yet is that all of these shadows can be used as eyeliners as well. They don't have to be just shadows. They can, depending on how you place them and which brush you use, they can be, hey Joy. Okay, whew. All right, let that dry a little bit. Those Neutrogena um, cloths, um, are awesome some people are a little bit sensitive to them and every now and then I'll find that they make my eyes feel a little bit sensitive but for the most part um, they do a heck of a job um, removing I don't trust that there aren't chemicals in there that probably shouldn't be on my face so I will often use our quench cleanse and wash my face after I use one to remove heavy makeup like at night after I do a video it's not beer not yet I wait till like at least one o'clock before um, okay, so eyes are dry. 
number, let's see, this was 12, 13, this, so this will be the 14th shadow that I am displaying. And it is, mm, can't remember, I think it's number 31. It's a silvery shimmer, and you'll see when I put it on. I'm gonna put it on right here. I'm gonna, this is packing, okay? You see the sheen there? It's pretty dark. It has kind of a blue base as opposed to a yellow base. I have found um, sometimes when I put this on people that I feel like it looks a teensy weensy bit blue. It's beautiful on all eye colors. And it makes a heck of a liner. I mean, look at the depth of color there. All right, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. This was a little bit of a sm I took the brush and I went like that because um, it has shimmer in it and it's a dark color. And I said earlier, those usually need just a tiny bit more pressure. When I get to the outside, I start at the outside and work in because otherwise you just end up sweeping out and you end up with a, a tail. So get in the habit. My arms are locked down next to my body while I'm doing this so that I have total control over this brush. If I was just leaning over my bathroom counter right now, oh, literally I just poked myself in the eye. I promise that was not staged. And there's only one person watching. God, the, good, the good stuff always happens when nobody's watching. All right, so there we go. Anyway, my point was, brace your arms. All right, next color, this would be 13, 14, the 15th color, and this is a softer gray. This is from our Onyx collection. This is a matte gray, and I think it's called high quality. No, that's our other gray that I actually have in a different palette. Um, I don't know what this one's called, but it's a really, really awesome gray. It looks light, but it's really quite dark. Um, and I'm gonna use it to line down here. It has no shimmer. And it has a little bit more of a brown yellow base to it. So it's not quite as blue as the one I used on the top. This is the color that I love to use with number 37. Um, it's kind of that peachy gray combo um, that y'all loved when I wore the hat with the little ball on the back and everybody was like, that's the best video ever. I really still can't figure out why, but I don't know, y'all. maybe y'all could tell me. Okay, the next one is a flashy silver. This one is like super shiny. And I'm gonna put this one in the corner. And this is definitely a blue base. You can kind of even see the little purpley blue tint to it. Tap, tap. It's much lighter and it's extremely shimmery. I'm gonna put some on the bottom. And then now we move on to our blacks. Now, the black that I did at the beginning of the video has, looks like it's pretty dry. I hesitate to touch it because I don't want to script. Yep, it's pretty dry. So this is the black that I used. I didn't do an awesome job um, because I've still got a few little loose pieces sticking up on the edge, but the middle of this is nice and compacted, and I'm gonna use it just to show you, like, break your shadows. It's gonna take you a little bit of time, but you don't have to throw them away. Um, number 11 clean it off. I'm going to dip into the middle here. It's not quite dry yet. It's still a little bit tacky. Still has great 
pigment. All right, so swipe, swipe. It's, it's moving around because it's not in a tray, so I'm having a hard time. There we go. See this kind of messy right here? It's not real solid. This is, I'm adding the black to, this is your outside triangle area, or at least that's what I call it. And I'm just darkening this outside corner and then stretching it up a little bit. Got a little point there. And then you can blend it from there. Um, I want to swatch the other black. That one, not quite dry yet, so it's not coming out precisely how I want it to. Um, but I've got, I've got nothing on my hand. There's no um, shadow primer or anything like that. And I'm gonna take my uh, brow tamer and I'm gonna pull it across the other black that I have. I have two. And I just pulled across with very light pressure. And that's what I get. So when your makeup is going on like this, With an eye primer, it would be even darker. If I sprayed this brush with our setting spray, it becomes liquid liner. Okay, so I don't care what you're using, it's not this pigmented. We can have a showdown if you want. I, I am. I will have a showdown with you. All right, just to finish this look so I don't leave it completely unfinished, um, I'm going to use number 31 on my brow bone again. Just a little bit this time. Show you that's still very effective. You can keep layering it, but it's still super effective. Hey, Christy. <coughs> <coughs> Hi, Eddie. Boy, you're one lucky guy. You get to hear my voice today. You're, it's a good thing we're at the tail end of this, but um, Lynn, you really should go back and watch the whole thing because I think you'll get a lot out of it. This is a shadow expo. Um, so I am, I've literally used 18 shadows on my face and this is the tail end of it. So I've put everything on to show you the quality of and how quickly they go on and how easily they blend. That was the whole purpose of this thing. So the only thing I'm missing right now is kind of a crease color. I'm going to go back to, um, you know what I said worked with, with, with well with these grays is that number 37. So I'm going to use number 37. That's that um, kind of, well, you can see what color it is. I'm going to lay that into the crease, which is that spot right where my eye does this, kind of creepy. Then I'm going to wipe it off, and now I'm going to blend. And I'm placing the brush halfway onto the color I just applied and halfway onto the brow bone to blend. And I'm going back and forth. My arm is braced up against my side to make it easier for me to get this motion. But this motion will come with practice. Okay, other side. Half. On to the black, half in the crease. Oh, yeah, it's black. Our black color is number nine. I think it's called Jet or something like that, but it's number nine. I'll wipe that off, add a tiny bit more to make it kind of match the other side a little bit better. Pull back, take a look. Pa pow! And we are done with the Eyeshadow Expo. Um, hope that you will all consider buying an eyeshadow today because I am winding down my, I'm, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm in the middle of a um, online party. And so when you buy during this online party, you're going to get a sample pack of like a really generous sample pack of our um, skincare um, and some of the awesome treatments that we have. And then you also get entered for a raffle for a prize that is enormous. And you've um, all posted. Um, it's got a purse from Stella and Dot. It's got a, my favorite candle. It's kind of like all my favorite things because um, I'm Oprah, basically, um, educating you all on 
life and okay not really anyway buy some eyeshadows um and you'll be entered to win that huge fancy gift that i'm going to post a picture of um and you will also get our skin campbell skin campbell cat uh skin care sample set that's like sally sells seashells by the seashore which is actually way easier than skin care sample set who knew all right uh, y'all something really terrible happened the other day and i lost my creme brulee i put it in my pocket with my mascara and i went out and did a bunch of crap and i lost it somewhere so i'm gonna slap on some mia to say goodbye to you lovelies this color is still available it will not be for long it is a beautiful soft coral it is a matte color so it's great for all ages you can fudge your lips i'm not using a liner today because i'm just saying goodbye that takes me so long to say goodbye and i have no mascara on either so that would be the last step but i'm not going to make y'all watch me do that Thank you for attending the eyeshadow expo twelve dollars each how many how many do you want how many do you want i want to see some action here let's let's get going on this all right y'all have fun i will post the colors and the link and the gift right now i'll do it right now